Hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna make a craft today. I've been looking at these, I'm gonna put pictures in right here. I've been looking at them online. I wanna hang one in the living room. I'm changing the style of my living room. So I thought, why not, why not make it? Let me show you what I got at a garage sale this year. I got all this yarn, bags of yarn. And I've got some up here. Yeah, so anyway, I've laid out over here kind of not not the bags but these on the floor those are the ones i want to kind of use for this maybe i'll add some fabric to it right there and i want to hang it right here and i want to use a stick because you see how straight it is up there oh, it's boxy up there so i thought if we put a stick in i don't know what the dog's barking at if i use a stick it won't be so boxy it'll have a little curvature to it i hope i've got two like not two i got a like foot of snow out there right now oh you can't see it and i don't know rob might have to help me get this stick because it might require sawing it from a tree <laughs> so stay tuned and we'll see what happens here all right i thought we'd come out and, and look for a stick it, I'm sinking. Usually from this big tree, something falls, but oh, there's something back there, but I don't think that's going to be good enough. Oh, wait, there's some over here in a pile. Okay. Oh, this is our lucky day. Okay, my lucky day. Now, which one do I want? Something like this, maybe. It's got a bend in it. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's go in the house. All right, we got both the sticks in the house. I think I'm gonna use the thinner one. I think. But it's, and it's got this cool bend in it right here, so. There, if it lays that way, I'll be able to work with it that way. I've taped the stick to two of my kitchen chairs. All I've been doing is cutting my yarn in, in maybe five to seven strands. And I cut it just long. I didn't measure anything. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. It is pretty long. There's no measuring done here. I'm gonna when I get it on the wall, then I'm gonna figure out where I how big I want it, where I want things. So basically, all I've been doing is taking my loop and going around and just bringing bringing it through. And when I do it that way, I have this the knot in the front. If I would do it the other way, the knot would be in the back and I want the knot in the front. Let's see, gray. I have gray here. My cat has been helping me also. Oh, here, I was gonna do this. I say, I've been saving this to do with you guys, so. There it is. This one is only in like three strands, I think, because it's so full. And I've just been looking at it as I go and just kind of adding it, adding it where I think I need it. And I've also taped this. There's um, packing tape all around this stick so I can slide things easily. I wanted to make sure I could do that. I would really like this down through here somewhere. How about if we put it right here? So I'm able to slide and move and change colors if I want. But this is all I'm doing. There, that's it. And that's how I get this. And it's pretty long right now. It's laying on the ground. It's, it's pretty long. And I've tried to be very gentle with it so it won't tangle. I don't want a tangled mess either. But there you go. My cat's been helping me also. All right. I'll come back when it's time to put this on the wall. All right. Rob hung it on the wall for me. So there it is so far. So I'm going to get in there. Untangle, untangle the ends, and I might braid some. We'll see. Put some beads in some. I did buy some beads maybe to stick up in there. I don't know. We'll see what happens to it. 
Okay, it's finished. I cut it straight across the bottom. I'm gonna put a candle in that thing, not burn it. Fire hazard there, so we, we won't do that. And I might, I don't know, I might move some stuff on top of my piano. But anyway, I put some beads on it and I braided a couple. And I also added some jewelry, like my grandmother's. This, this was my grandmother's. I, I stuck that in there, I thought it was pretty. I had it in like my jewelry box. So I thought, why not, why not? All right, and that I bought. And then I have another necklace stuck in there, if I can get to it. I have another craft project going also. In here somewhere is another one of my grandmother's necklaces. I'll put a picture in it if I find one of those. But anyway, there you go. Now, my other craft project I have going. Now, you don't have to cut that straight across the bottom either. I just thought with the bend up top, I just wanted it straight on the bottom. I have another craft project happening here, so stay tuned for stay tuned for this wall. It's gonna be a wall hanging. All right, I'll see you in the next video.